So an alternative to the piriformis chair stretch, we're gonna do the same one, but this time on the floor. So everybody's hips, everyone's bodies are able to move in different ways, depending on the way the joints are, the bones have grown. This is an alternative. So grab a block or grab a cushion, something that's a little bit higher, just so we can elevate the hip that we're working on. So this time we're gonna work on the right hip. Grab your block or a book, something thick like an encyclopedia or a soft cushion. We're gonna sit on this with our right hip. The right knee is facing forward. So your left knee, this is where that flexibility for some of you will come in. This knee, for some, will be able to slide all the way back behind you. It's kind of like a half split. So this right leg, the heel, is close in for some people. Maybe you can take this heel away from you. It basically creates a figure seven or a reverse L, depending on how you're looking at it. And what we're trying to do here is the same as in the chair. We're trying to get a deep stretch underneath this right hip in basically those piriformis external rotator area. The heel for some of you, again, will be close. Some of you will be able to take it away. Some may even be able to do quite a wide zigzag where the leg is going forward. And I enjoy doing this one and elevating myself a little bit higher. And when you're higher, so you can see straight away, this left leg can come under my body a lot easier. And already in this position, I don't feel like I have to stretch far because I'm getting this huge band of stretch along here, but I'm also feeling the sciatic nerve that's coming through this area of the body, this area of the hips. So but we're gonna lower it just for this round. You can have higher. Heel for me is gonna come in a little here. My hands are forward. Those that do yoga, it looks like pigeon. Those that do yin, swan. What I like to do here is walk my hands out more over the foot and leaning my body out to the left means that I'm gonna to start to get a little bit more of a stretch in here, which is what I'm looking for, what I'm searching for. Sit with how it feels for you, never push, never force. Always protect the knee joint. Make sure your knees, your joints, your ankle joints don't feel under too much pressure, which is why I'm using these Zabatons, these mats here that soften my bones into the floor. For those that have done the chair stretch, similar cues. We're gonna lift the chest up and lean a little bit further forward. You don't have to come all the way down as you'll see people do a lot in yoga. Here, we're, again, we're aiming to get that stretch. As long as it's a one, two, three percent of a stretch sensation, that's enough. We're holding for 10 seconds. We're just being still. We're feeling into that stretch, that position. When you're ready, the resistance here, we're gonna push the knee gently into the floor. Make sure the knee's touching. Five, four, three, two, one. Soften, take a deep breath in, sigh it out. And maybe on the breath out, you can shift the body. Again, I explore out left, it works for me. Some of you may already just be over the knee and that is enough. Again, this heel, to go deeper, maybe pulling the heel further away from the groin takes the stretch deeper into that piriformis external rotator area. Feel it out. We're spending 10 seconds here. Again, always remembering to cue you can lift that chest at any point. That lift of the chest, you usually feel it deeper into the hip as it just slightly rotates the hips forward. And we'll resist again. My left foot, my left knee, and the shin. Push it down into the floor. Resist down and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and soften. You feel the body sort of sink a bit. Breath in, lift the chest, lean forward. So the final one, what I like to do is explore with my back foot. So if my left leg is back, tuck the toe. See if you can lift the back knee. Notice lifting the knee is gonna shift the pelvis and that may be enough. That may bring another stretch into that right hip. And as I hold that knee off the floor, you don't have to do this. You can be passively just releasing one more resistance. Knee, shin, foot, whatever's touching, gently push it down for five, four, Three, two, one, and soften. <sighs> Breath in and out. Exhale. <sighs> Maybe you can go deeper. Maybe you can lean a little further. So the final 10 seconds minimum, spending a little bit deeper into the pose. And what I like to do at the end of this kind of work when you're on the floor is release slowly. 
Some of you might want to stand up and walk about. I like to lay down. Oh, and let that limb stretch out. Release, turn your head to one side and just let go. Then just take a nice deep breath in and out. If you want, stand up, walk about. Just let that body reprocess what we've done, the work we've done today. So before you go do the other side, that subscribe button down the bottom, if you haven't, please press it. Hit the like button. Give me a little like and a thumbs up that you've enjoyed this clip. Now go do that left side and I'll see you in the next video.